Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day. Welcome to a game called Planet Base. Now this game has been out quite a while on PC. It first came out in 2015, but it just came out this month, January of 2018, on PlayStation 4. So, and I had really been having a craving to play a city builder game and that's basically what this is except it's on in outer space on a alien planets so it really fits the kind of theme of my channel and it's an indie game I'm pretty sure and also this is my first time recording with my PlayStation cameras microphone instead of my earbud mic so if my voice sounds different that's why I'm hoping that it will kind of cut down on some of my um, biorhythm sounds, my sniffing and swallowing and such. But um, okay, let's get into a new game. I already played the tutorial, so I know the basic controls. And let's try a new game. Ooh, Class D accessible. Oh, nice. So there's different levels of challenge which I don't have access to yet. So I have to have four milestones, eight milestones, and 12 milestones to do the more difficult, thing, difficult ones. Well, that's cool. Nice, so there's some kind of progression other than just building endlessly. Uh, Medium-sized planet, desert planet, with a thick CO2 atmosphere which partially protects it from meteors and solar flares. Characteristics, light amount high, solar panels operate at full capacity, atmosphere density high, suitable for wind turbines, that's how we're going to get all our power, uh, sandstorm risk high, meteor risk low, cool, so there's meteors in this game, base name, so can I change my base name, ooh, I can rename it, nice, I'm going to have to name it. Mm, what am I going to name it, though? Base... Oh, I've got an idea. Uh, we'll do something from Waking Titan. We'll call it... Call it Lab 319. <laughs> if you're following Waking Titan, you know that that's something that seems to be involved in it. But anyway, adjust. Oh, I'm just looking at the terrain. Wow. I wonder if this really is like planet-sized planets, like you could colonize the whole thing or whatever. I don't know. That would be really cool. Okay, sorry. Let's get started. Before you reach a high level of prestige, make sure you recruit some guards and arm them, as this will attract attackers... Whoa, there weren't attackers in the tutorial. Cool. Looks like Mars. So I wonder if there's like any kind of storyline or if it's just building a base and surviving as long as you can. Obviously, there's milestones I have to get to unlock the other difficulties, so I guess that's the main goal in this game, is to just get that. Oh, well. I know what I need to do first. I need to build an oxygen generator. So I guess I can just build it wherever I want. Hmm. Hope these hills and stuff won't get in my way. Uh, I think I'll build some of the infrastructure in this little clearing, and then I'll expand other stuff the other way. Whatever. Okay. Okay, there's that. I can speed up the game. Wait. What else did I need to build? I need... I need power source. Or the oxygen won't work. Um, yeah, solar panel. Yeah, gotta have solar panels.
Yeah, okay. So got a solar panel. So basically I've got some food and material inside of the ship that we landed with. I've got to build enough infrastructure to survive once all those materials run out. We've got food, building material, and other chemical components and stuff. But once that run out runs out, we have to be all set up to create our own. Okay, and then... Okay, so that's all hooked up. So now we need an airlock. I'm trying to think. Do I want the airlock right here? Yeah, might as well. Hint power grid. How do I... Power grid. Most structures and components need power to function. To achieve this, you need to connect them to power generators like solar panels or wind turbines. Each generator will generate a certain amount of power depending on circumstances. Solar panels only work during the day. Wind turbines need an atmosphere and wind to function. Okay. I'll build more stuff as we go along. I'm gonna get the airlock and all that built. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna put all my, well, some of my, oh yeah, I need a source of water now. Um, where are those again? Water extractor. Colony ship, oxygen generators out of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build the water extractor then. <laughs> Hint. Oxygen flow, maintaining oxygen flow is essential to keep your base functioning properly. Oxygen, yeah, I already made an oxygen generator. Colony ship contains some resources that will allow you to start the construction of your colony. It is important that you spend them wisely and try to be self-sufficient as soon as possible. Like I said, you can recycle the colony ship and you will get some extra resources. This will also free up space for more structures when the colony, where the colony ship once was. Yeah, we'll recycle the colony ship later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got a water generator thinger. Ooh, it's nighttime already? Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. Uh, oh dang. I didn't know nighttime was gonna come that fast. Ah, I need a, I need a wind generator, wind thing. Uh, what? Ah. Yeah, yeah. I know we're gonna die if we don't have other power sources. Oh, and I also need. Power collector. Here we go. Okay, well, hopefully we're not all gonna die now. Eh. Oh no. Uh, nobody's doing anything. Is everyone gonna die? Oh dang it! Are you serious? Oh man, all colonists died. Uh, a failure. Uh, okay, let's try that again. All your colonists are now dead. Unfortunately, you didn't succeed in creating a viable colony, but this is part of the learning experience. Maybe next time you can try a different base layout or build or build order. You can also check the meta game section at inside menu. Blah blah blah. Okay, so I was stupid. I didn't realize. I play the tutorial, it like never turns nighttime, so I wasn't aware I needed to get wind turbines so quickly, so ah, I have to rename it again. Okay, try that again. <laughs> this time I'll, I'll build wind turbines first and then solar panels. Stupid.
<laughs> well, now we know how easy it is to lose at this game. We are going to have a successful colony, dang it. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, oxygen generator. Is this, oh, cool. So this game seems to be procedurally generated because it's totally different now. Where, where I landed is totally different. So that's cool. It's not the same exact landing place every time. And, oh, oh, so you have to have a sol solar panel in order to make wind turbines. Okay, so I can't just do that. Okay, so quickly get the oxygen maker up with the solar panel. Okay, now we'll go ahead and make wind turbine. Well, I have to have a power thinger. Is it a good idea to make it max size? Yeah, should be okay. Okay, so power holder thinger and wind turbine. Make a max size wind turbine. Make sure we have lots of power. All right, oxygen's low, so hurry up and make the infrastructure before we die again. <laughs> it's pretty cool that this game's procedurally generated and you get totally different terrain every time. Definitely like that. You can add a lot of variety just with some procedural generation. Okay. Now we will build, ooh, water. Now we need the water thinger. Okay. Okay, so get the water built. Make sure we're okay on that. We've got a wind turbine this time, so nighttime's not going to kill us. <laughs> okay, now we need an airlock. Oop, was that? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Because why not? Alright. What? Why are they still... Oh, they're dying again? Oh, man. I guess I had to build an airlock sooner. Ah! Why can't they just hook their suits up to the... Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Wow, this game is unforgiving. Jeez Louise. Well, this is a, I guess, a good walkthrough to show you all the mistakes that you can make. Okay, let's try this again. Lab 319, start. <laughs> ah. We are going to make this colony work. I feel like this game is pretty fair, it's just difficult. Uh, do I have to watch this little cutscene with them walking every time? Ah. Okay, so let's try this yet again. Okay, oxygen maker. Okay, 
and solar panel. Should probably go ahead and start building the water extractor. All that is needed. And you know what? I don't think there's anything stopping us. Let's go ahead and make the airlock. So that's what... Oh, come on. Let me build the airlock here. Ah, dang it. I guess here is... What the heck was that? Was that a meteor? I think a meteor just fell, fell near here. Oh my gosh. They said it was low meteors. Oh jeez. Okay, okay, solar panels built, so we can go ahead and make oops. And go ahead and make Oh no no no. We need the power collector. And then wind turbine. Oh dang. There's not a lot of room here. Guess we're gonna have to spam that way. There. I think that's everything we need to survive the night, hopefully. Airlock, oxygen, water, power of varying sources. <sighs> Okay, what next? Oxygen flow, structures have been built. Yeah, we've got a power grid. Okay, what next? Okay, we need, ah, oh, geez. There's nowhere for me to connect. Hopefully I can connect off the airlock somehow. I need a canteen yeah oh no there's nowhere for me to connect the canteen oh no ah I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and recycle this okay now can I build a canteen somewhere oops Yes, there we go. Canteen is the <clears throat> where they eat, where the colonists eat, and um, the basic meeting and entertainment area. As soon as that gets built, I need to build like a water fountain and an eating thingy in it. Oh. Actually, I can't build a food thing in it yet until we have a farm dome thingy. Okay, now I can build accessories for this thing. Can't really use a meal maker yet because we don't have a farm yet. So, water fountain. Right here. And we need a stable. And a video screen for entertainment. Can I put it right by the tables? close to it. That works. There. Gotta have some entertainment to keep the colonists happy or they'll go insane and start killing each other. <laughs> now I don't need a decorative plant. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need a farm. I think that's what should be next. Wait, no. We need a dorm for people to sleep. Here we go. Dorms are dead ends. You can't build anything else off of it, so I'm putting it in the corner here. The 
only disadvantage of using this mic is I can't turn it off when I take a drink of water and stuff, but hopefully you won't be able to hear when I do that stuff. Of course, I could edit it all out, but I don't want to have to edit my videos that much. You know what? I don't, I don't think there's any harm in go ahead and getting the farm started, biodome. Wonder how I, can, how I can tell how much power I have. Is that? I think that low. I think that low bar on the top left is the power. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know what that means. Should probably look it up in the somewhere. Whatever. Okay. So get the biodome and the dorms built. Survival reached, yay! Got a milestone. Okay, we need food. What food should we grow? Tomatoes... Produces one food. Everything produces one food. I don't know if it matters. Certain foods are used in other things, like making plastic or something and medicine I don't know if it matters I'm just gonna build what they have me build in the tutorial tomato and onion because I guess those are good we'll try building other stuff later Oh, I gotta wait for it to be connected. I really like this game so far. It's a lot of fun, even though I just lost two times, but it's not like well, so far, it's not like some city builders I've played that are kind of unfair and they just get way too hard way too quickly. But, I mean, there's higher difficulty levels, so I'm sure those are going to be like that. Okay, let's hurry up, get these food things built. And then we can make a meal maker in the mess hall, or I'm just going to call it a mess hall. Whatever they call it is not what I usually call them. I'll call it the cafeteria. That's better. Okay. Uh, meal maker. Yay. Looks like a vending machine. Oh, they've got Z's over their heads. Like they're sleepy. Maybe I should go ahead and make more beds. It's probably because the... Probably because, yeah, the, the bed's not built yet. But, I mean, we've got seven colonists. We're going to need more beds than that. I like that you can take the domes off if you want to see inside. I wonder if there's a way to zoom in. I don't know. I'd like to see, because from the trailer I saw that the people have quite a bit of detail on them. Like you can see their hands and fingers and everything moving. But if you can't zoom in, then you can't see that normally. Oh cool, there's actually stuff on the video screen. That's nice. Nice touch. Okay, let's slow down speed. Everything's been built, so I need to figure out what to build next. I feel like I should probably 
build some more power before I continue. Just to be safe. Another wind turbine. I'm gonna put a bunch of wind turbines over here. This will be our wind farm. It's not, there's not much space, so it'll be just a small energy farm. And what else? Eventually I'm gonna need like, ooh, water tank. Stores water for later use. Mine. I need a mine at some point. And eventually we can make a landing pad that then more colonists can arrive. Because right now we only have seven colonists and we're never going to get any more until we build a landing pad. Need landing pad for that. So there's a bunch of stuff I can't make until I make a landing pad. Signpost? Huh, that's cool. Okay, so I think a mine is the next thing I need to make. Well, wait, let me see. Yeah, I've got all that. Dorm... Cabin? Sleeping facility with more comfortable beds. Cool. But before we do that, we need all the basic stuff. So, processing plant. Facility to process raw resources and usable materials. Multi-dome, multi-purpose leisure and fitness building. Nice. Can't wait to get to building all this stuff. Bar. <laughs> For colonists to relax and enjoy some drinks. Storage. Place to safely store resources and prevent them from deteriorating. Sick bay. Oh yeah, that's another basic thing I need to make soon. And lab. Sick bay and lab. Oh, control center. <laughs> nice. So we've got law enforcement too. Okay, first I think I have to build a mine or I'm going to run out of resources. So first mine. And that has to be... Ooh. Oh good, I can place it right here. There we go. Perfect. And then... Once I have the mine, I will need the processing plant, I think. No. Yes? I think. Grid. Uh, yeah, I think it's the processing plant I need. Or was it lab? I don't remember. Oh well, let's just make a processing plant. Ah. But I know I need a processing plant and a lab. And a sick bay. So we'll just go ahead and make all those. Hopefully I have enough of everything to get them built. And all that. Okay, speed up time. Well, I guess I should go ahead and just order the lab and the sick bay built. Keep hearing meteors. I hope they don't hit us. That's like a random danger that you can't control. Um, and the sick bay. Dang, the dumb pile of resources is in the way. Ah, build it over here, I guess. Hopefully those resources will be gone eventually. Maybe that's why I need to make a storage thing lab has been built structures have been built when you get everything built well should go ahead and make something 
Oh, it's not operational yet. Okay, now it is. Okay, this is the processing plant. What did I need for this? Oh yeah, I need both of these. Metal processor. And bioplastic processor. But for bioplastic, I need starch. So I'll go ahead and get that started. And then <clears throat> to make starch, I need rice. I also need medicinal pads, so rice. Okay, so we'll build, grow rice and medicinal pad. And what was this? Lab. What do we need in the lab? Workbench. Tissue synthesizer. Vitro meat is produced here. Oh, weird. Like, so like they can make fake, fake meat from plant products or something? I don't know. But anyway. Okay, and okay, this is not connected yet. Soon as it is. Sick bay has been built, sick bay is connected. Now we need... Medical cabinet. I think we mainly just need the bed right now. Alright, so we got all that. Speed it up, get it all built. Components have been built. Self-sufficiency reached. Nice. I'm getting lots of milestones. I think now is the part in the tutorial where the landing pad was built, so I should probably do that next. Bed has been built. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and build a landing pad. So we can start getting more colonists. Oh good, I can connect off the airlock right here. Oh yeah, because it's not an internal connection, it's a... Uh, whatever. It's a... Uh, it's just a uh, underground connection. I mean, it's not a corridor, it's a... Uh, it's just a ground line. So... Oh, that robot's in need of repair. That's why it's got a wrench above its head. We've got seven people and two robots. Ooh, I wonder if you can make a robot. Ooh, I've got to check that out. Let's see, is there a robot making thing? <gasps> Robotics facility requires factory. Factory? Where's factory? Factory, ooh, I forgot about that. That's something else that I need that was in the tutorial. I forgot about that. I'm at, ooh, I'm getting low on resources. We, we made... We made the... Um, yeah, we have a bioplastic processor. Requires starch. And we have... We made... Rice for starch. Hmm. Hopefully we'll keep making more materials. Okay, I got to have a factory. I think. Still can't build there. Ooh, we've got we've got someone arriving. Is that gonna add to our colonists? Yay! Expansion reached! Nice! Sweetness! Yay! We have eight colonists! We had an arrival! Woohoo! Yay! Okay, 
Let's get this factory started. Then we can make a robot facility. Ooh, nice. Wonder if I should go ahead and make a storage thing. I mean, I'm really getting into this game. <laughs> uh, so glad I stopped dying over and over. Maybe I should go ahead and make a storage. Storage. Place to safely store resources and prevents them from deteriorating. I'd like to build it right here where all these dumb resources are. Oh well. Manufacturing limits? The manufacturing limits panel allows you to specify the maximum number of units for the various manufactured goods. After you hit the limit, no more of that item will be produced. Most of these foods require, goods require bioplastic and metal to produce. It is sometimes a good idea to limit the production to avoid exhausting your basic resources. So what should I limit? I don't know. Hmm. Well, it's gonna get more complicated. Well, I'm going to have to start making more farms and more of this and more of that, eventually. Man, I was hoping I could expand across the whole planet, but there's all these mountains in the way. Trade ship has landed. Ooh. Uh, do I do something with it? Trade. Nice. Can I buy bioplastic? I'm getting low on bioplastic. They have five. No, we have base. Oh, they don't have any bio, bio plastic. Darn it. I'm not selling that, that's for sure. Okay, so they have a robot? Nice, they have a carrier bot. It costs 120. <clears throat> what do we have? Where's our monies? Uh. I don't see. No, we don't have 100. Oh, we've got 44. We've got 44 monies. Great. I'm going to call them credits. We've got 44 credits, so we can't buy that. Goliath Turbine Patent. Ooh, does that mean I can... Ah, uh, it costs 600. But that probably means that I can build a bigger wind turbine. That's nice. Gun. So I can buy a gun for like my law enforcement, which I haven't built yet. Drink. Starch. Ooh. Wonder if, ooh. Wonder if I should buy starch. Do we have a surplus of anything we could sell? Bio. Oh, that's bioplastic. What's this then? Oh, metal. Metal is what I really need, not bioplastic. I thought that that was the icon for bioplastic. Hmm. Uh, Oh, we could buy medical supplies. Oh, we've got 10. We should be okay. Or vegetables, meal. Eh, I think we're good for now. We've got enough bioplastic. We need more metal. Oh, well. So, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh oh, that robot's broken. Okay, factory's almost built. Now we need it connected. Okay. Oh. What do you even use it for? Recycle, disable, connect. There's no accessories for it? So, what is it even for? Weird. 
Oh, oh. That's storage, it's not the factory. Ah, I'm stupid. Okay, um... Spares workshop. An engineer can make spares here. Semiconductor foundry. An engineer can make semiconductor here. Arms workshop. I don't know if I even need that stuff. I mainly built it because I want to build a robot facility thing. Robot facility. Bot construction and repair. Oh yeah, we need repair because that our bots are breaking down. Yeah, let's put it here. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We made a lot of progress. Got a lot of stuff built. Got everything well established. And so this is Planet Base. I definitely want to unlock as many of the... Um, higher difficulty things as I can so I guess that's my ultimate goal so once I get to the highest difficulty and try that that'll probably be the end of the series but for now I'm really enjoying this game and looking forward to playing it more I hope you all check it out like I said it just came out on PS4 and it was $20 so I think it's worth it but anyway I have been Mac Thank you for joining me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.